Multiple sources tell CBS News that Colonial Pipeline paid a multi-million dollar ransom to the hackers who crippled its network, leaving many gas pumps dry in the southeast. The pipeline, which stretches from Texas to New Jersey, is back online, but it will take several more days to return to normal. Senior investigative correspondent, that's Catherine Harridge, is following this story. Catherine, there is concern that by paying the ransom, this will encourage other attacks. So have we heard anything from the hackers? Well, Gail, good morning. We haven't heard more from the hackers. Its page on the dark web is apparently down, and it's not clear whether it's a technical issue or the results of a law enforcement action. The FBI discourages but does not ban American companies like Colonial from paying a ransom. The Bureau warns there is no guarantee the company will get its data back and says the payments only encourage more cyber attacks in the future. Colonial Pipeline is navigating uncharted territory. This is the first time the entire pipeline Line, running 5,500 miles was shut down, and the company says fully restarting the delivery supply chain will take time because it's putting safety first. According to Gas Buddy, 15 states and the District of Columbia have reported dry gas stations. Speaking from the White House, President Biden seemed to temper expectations, saying the pipeline is not like flicking a switch, and he also warned gas stations against price gouging. And while President Biden said he does not believe Vladimir Putin's government was directly involved, he said there is reason to believe the hackers are living in Russia, and he urged Moscow to take decisive action against these ransomware networks. Anthony? Catherine, thank you.